everybody, a very quick video to show you the different types of cable options you can get online if you want to change the way that you give power to a cuddy. That was a really long way of saying. I'm going to show you lots of cables you can use for cuddy. First option is a so Cuddy's input is a 5.5 by 2.1 meter millimeter power jack. Um, first option is a stretchy cable. Uh, you can get these online. You can get them really cheap on Amazon. Um, you can get one with the USB thing at the end or just cables and everything, but that is really handy if you're gonna put it in a pullout drawer. Option number one. Option number two, USB 5 volts, 12 volt, 5.5 by 2.1 out. So now you can connect your Cuddy to a USB port, which is pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, output, 12 volts. There you go. It comes with another little thing that I think is a 5.5 by 2.5, not the 2.1 that we use, but heaven forbid you have anything else that need to run. Cool, that's option number two for anybody who wants to use USB. Option number three. This is regular cigarette lighter option with a long cable. You can use this if you want to plug it into your truck or car's cigarette lighter if you have a 12 volt standard lighter output. If you've got a Bluetti or a, another power bank, this is probably going to be your most efficient way to get power to your Cuddy because it's probably got 12 volts inside it. I don't know for sure, but I'm fairly sure it does. And not converting up down to five and then back up to 12 or up to two and up to 110 if you're in the US and then back down to 12. It's way more efficient just to plug one of these in. Again, it comes, I believe, a standard with a 5.5 by 2.1, but they give you a whole baggie of others. Cool, excellent. Ooh. Yeah, we like this one. Cool. Option number four, three, nice. This is for people who might be putting their cuddy in a shower or a wet bath. This end is a 5.5 by 2.1 into the back of cuddy. This end is an SAE adapter, which if you do it like this, uh, is water resistant. Now, uh, this little bad boy is an SAE on one end and a it's an SAE on one end and a SAE on the other. But one is an innie, one is an outie, so that it can connect to itself. The cool thing, uh, why is this good for showers? Take your connector that comes like this, cut this end off, and wire it directly into your van. This then would screw onto your into your shower in the wall and it comes with a little waterproof cover. Ta-da. So this now, if you're in the shower, would be waterproof. Cool. But then what do you do about this then? Well, normally you'd think, okay, plug that into Cuddy and wire that into a wall. But if you plug that out of a wall and you're gonna move Cuddy out of the shower because you wanted to unplug it anyway, then go and just take the whole cable in the back of Cuddy out. Put your cap on, your shower's waterproof, cutties out of the way, and hey presto, you're good to have a shower. So that combo there, the SAE wall adapter and the SAE to 5.5 by 2.1 cutty adapter, would work in a wet bath. Cool. Last option, I can't remember what number we're on, but here it is. Plug. This is obviously a UK plug. You can buy one for your own locality. If you do want one, uh, we'll share links to which adapter to get. They come in half an amp, one amp, two amp, three amp, all of which are 12 volts. Be sure to get one that's 12 volts. The current rating isn't as important. It's more of an upper limit rather than how much power it's gonna give to Cuddy. Cuddy will just take what he wants and needs at 12 volts. But there you go, plug. That's if you're at home or if your 12 volt in your Bluetti is already occupied with, I don't know, lighting cigarettes. Cool. So that's it. Any questions, guys, let us know which is your favorite 
tell us. Um, cool. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>